What's up guys, it's Tommy here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to check the battery cycle count on your iPhone. If you don't know what battery cycle count is, I'll give you guys two examples. The first example is if your phone is dead and you charge it from zero to 100%, that is considered one battery cycle count. A second example would be if your phone is at 50% and you charge it to 100% two times, that is also considered one battery cycle count. Knowing your iPhone's battery cycle count will give you a better idea on how healthy the iPhone's battery is. Having said that, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into settings. From settings, scroll down until you see privacy. Go ahead and click into privacy. And then scroll down until you see analytics and improvements. Go ahead and click into that. Next, you wanna make sure that you have share iPhone analytics toggled on. If you do not, go ahead and toggle that on and you will have to wait about a day or so and then come back to the video and try it out. Anyways, if you do have that toggled on, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go into analytics data, which is just right under share iPhone analytics. From here, you're gonna wanna go ahead and scroll down until you see log aggregated. It should look like this and then you're going to want to go ahead and click on the latest one so right now it is May 6, 2020. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the May 6 aggregated log. From here, you're gonna wanna go ahead and copy all of this text. So go ahead and copy, scroll all the way down to select all the text. Once you have selected all of it, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and copy it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. It does lag, so we're gonna go ahead and click on it, but you'll notice that it does lag for the copy option to show up. So just give it a few seconds. It may do the same for you. All right, so then go ahead and hit copy. That did take about 20 seconds, by the way. Next, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and enter notes, create a new note, and then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and paste all that text that you just copied. Give it a few seconds, it may lag. And once you've done that, go ahead and hit done, then hit the share button on the top right corner, scroll down until you see find in note, click on that, and now you're gonna wanna go ahead and type in battery cycle count. Once you have typed it in, you will see it right over here. So for this phone, I have 658 battery cycle counts. Supposedly your iPhone's battery is at 80% health once you have reached 500 battery cycle counts. However, on the iPhones that I have tested, that does not seem to be the case. Here you can see that my iPhone 5S has 1,366 battery cycle counts, but I do not know the battery health percentage. Under that, you'll see my iPhone 10 that has 434 battery cycle counts and the battery health is at 89%. On this phone, the 10s Max has 657 battery cycle counts and is at 91% battery health. I have had this phone for about a year and a half. Under that, we have an iPhone 8 Plus that has 896 battery cycle counts with a battery health of 87%. And that is all over a course of two years and five months. So I just want to share this information with you. Let me know your battery cycle count in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.